and the payments on federal student loans that were paused at the start of the pandemic will be reinstated at the end of August, with those bills coming due the following month. Dr. Jonathan Cortez, a professor at the University of Texas at Austin, tells us the pause gave him some relief, but now he's facing a new reality. I will have to be paying back at a larger at a larger amount um, to 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 ensure that I don't default on those loans. While payments stopped over the last three years, Cortez says he's expected more from President Biden. So it seems like we're chasing a carrot, and that's the frustrating part, right? It's not that we have to pay them back, because that's the responsibility we accrue whenever we take out the loans. The, the frustrating part is being um, teased, for lack of a better word. Cortez is talking about student loan forgiveness. The only thing we know for sure is that because of the compromise that came about with the debt ceiling, that the repayment pause has to stop. Andy Benoit, the vice president of enrollment management at the Island University, says federally assured servicers should give borrowers more information, like how to set up payment plans. All of that will be timed according to normal processes. We are essentially going back to normal, uh, to what we were prior to the, po uh, the pause. Still, concerns are looming. As inflation continues to take a toll on consumers, Cortez is thinking about how this will impact future generations. Higher education is getting more expensive, more and more expensive. Therefore, we're going to have to be taking out more and more student loans, right? How can we support our youth who are...